Welcome to Bad Food Blog. And what I have here, if you can see that, is I have la -da 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 -da, the waffleizer from PowerXL, which I'm going to be using again. Oh, still got a few little things in it there. And I also have, don't know if you can see, but I have leftover kebab from a kebab place near us. So you have leftover kebab, bread, Mexican style cheese and red sauce. So I think the bread needs to be cut in two, the kebab meat goes in, some of the chips go in, and then uh, the whole thing is toasted. I don't know if I'm gonna put the chips in, to be honest, I don't think I am. I think with the bread, that's kind of enough. I might have to find another way to deal with the chips. So let's get a knife first, and let's sort of clean this out a little bit and then cut the bread in half. There we go. That's a little bit better, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a little bit better. Right, so it's kind of the bread in half. What's interesting is this is gonna be sort of, okay. This is going to be using it as more of a sort of sandwich press, I guess. Hmm. How am I going to deal with the cheese? I think I need to grate it. I think just cutting it isn't really going to cut it, is it? But this is an interesting, an interesting use for this, I think. Okay, now, I think I'm gonna put a little bit of cheese in to start off with, just so we got something to kind of go crispy on the outside, so. I don't know, is that gonna? Yeah, so let's just put a little dollop of cheese in to begin with. Then let's put that in. Then the doner meat. Oh wow, that's a lot of doner meat, isn't it? Well, I'm not going to be able to fit all the doner meat in by the looks of it. Yeah, I think I can make that work. I don't know though. Then a lot more of the cheese in with the doner meat. To keep that a bit clear. Uh, then I'm thinking red hot sauce. <laughs> This is going to be extremely spicy. Uh, and I guess that top bit. And then I guess a bunch more cheese. Well, maybe... No, I'm not going to put the chips in. Want to heat the chips up, I might do that in the oven or the air fryer. To be perfectly honest, these chips weren't that great anyway. So I, I think we're good. Um, you're supposed to heat this up in advance, but <clears throat> I didn't really want to do that with this one. So let's uh, let's get this all inside. Want that seal to work, and then let's pop the lid down on it. Oh, I can feel it getting hot already. Yeah, it's starting to melt the cheese already. Let's get the lid down on it. Oh, <coughs> there we go. Right. And we'll be back in a couple of minutes and see what this looks like. Okay, I've just turned it over, but I think we're done, judging by the smell coming out of it. There's still quite a bit of steam escaping, so maybe we're not quite there yet. But it is reassuring. I mean, none of this is really going to fluff up. We're reheating food, really. So this isn't like the sort of cooking from scratch we were doing with the other one. So the thing we're to do now will be to uh, turn it off, let it cool down for about 20 or 30 seconds, and then open it and see what we've got. So we will return in 30 seconds and we will open it on the middle table. 
so here we are. Leftover kebab. Toasted sandwich. Oh my God, it's all falling to pieces. Oh, oh, doesn't look that bad. I wasn't expecting it to stick together. I was just expecting to get something relatively similar to that. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, does that smell spicy? Oh my God. I am going to have a lot to clean up in there. Look at that. Wow. Okay. I will. I'll put a couple of bits of tissue in there before it cools down to uh, begin to soak up some of that fat. There is like a lake of fat going on in there. Right. Now, I guess I'm going to need some more red sauce. A knife and fork. Let's give it a try. Do you want to try some? Oh, thank you. This might be a bit spicy. I have no idea what it is. It's leftover kebab sandwich, toasted sandwich in the waffleizer. Mmm. Well, mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm. It definitely reheated everything. In terms of a toasted sandwich, mm, it's quite nice. Obviously, the kebab tastes nice anyway. Mm. Mm. Isn't that amazing? It's wonderful. Mmm. Huh? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, 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 oh. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, definitely worth the money. I was breathing under my breath there. It's like, oh, oh my God, hot. Spicy. Mmm. Tastes wonderful, definitely not good for you, but wow. I'm beginning to see some major opportunities with this. There are some fun things I'm gonna do with this coming in the future. Thanks for watching, please like and share the video. And that is leftover doner kebab waffleized sandwich. Is that the right name for it? What do you reckon? What about waffleized doner kebab? Okay, maybe. So, thanks for watching. Please like and share the video. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing.